Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the XB16 Koenig snow tire chains here on our 2022 Buick Encore GX. So this is gonna be a really nice way of giving you guys some traction control. That way, if you guys do have a little bit of snow or ice in your future, you can go ahead and get through it with no problem. So these guys are gonna be a really nice chain. I like how easy they are to put on, but you're also getting really good quality. Koenig, well known for their tire chains. So we do have a manganese nickel alloy chain here. What that means for ourselves, gonna be pretty resistant to that corrosion that we're naturally gonna experience, but also to that chemicals that's gonna be on the ground. So that salt, that chemicals, even those, it's gonna be holding up well too. Now with maintenance with any chain, I highly suggest when not in use to take them off, spritz them down, get all those agents off of there, and then put a little bit of oil or grease on them. Can go a long way, we don't have to get too crazy, but that's gonna make sure that these are gonna last you even at, during those off seasons, they'll be okay in storage and ready to go the next year. But you are getting a diamond style pattern on here as well. What that means for us, we're getting really good coverage on our wheel, almost always having constant contact with our chains. And that's great, of course, of biting through that snow and that ice. Now, if you're comparing this to something like a ladder style chain, what ends up happening with that, you have those straight kind of horizontal bars, right? And those are great for your stop and start and stop maneuvers. So like if you're going on a highway, they're excellent for that. However, you lose a little bit on your churning radius. So when you go to make your left and your right, you can have to accelerate, right? To get over those hills and valleys. And it ends up just losing a little bit there. Now, obviously not the end of the world, but diamond style kind of gives you the best of, best of both worlds scenario. You're biting through that snow and that ice, but you're having constant contacts. You're not feeling it. Makes for a, a bit of a smoother ride as well. And talking about smoothness of ride, we are working on a D-Link style here. Now they're pretty sizable, about the size of my finger here or so. So you know they're gonna do a great job, like I said, biting through that snow and that ice, but they're not gonna be too aggressive. And that's something we really need because you guys can see, well, it might be hard because of the shadow here, but we do have a strut that's really, really close and we only have about two fingers width of distance between that. So we want something that's class S compatible, just like this guy is. So we know we're not gonna have any contact with that strut, which is great. And honestly, just a nice way of getting you that traction control, like I said. One thing that's awesome about it too, not gonna take too much time to get installed. We're not gonna have to get in our hands and our knees too much as we actually can make most of the connections right here on the front of our uh, vehicle. So we're gonna show you that here in a second. Couple things before that though, let's make sure we are getting the right size for ourselves. Now we are working on 225. 55 R18 tires. So make sure you guys are putting that in the fit guide here at eTrailer.com as well. To make sure you're getting the right size for you. And another thing is a lot of our Encores are gonna come with just uh, front wheel drive. So that's why we've gone ahead and thrown it here on our front wheel. Now, if you guys do boast an all wheel drive package, they do state you can probably use them on all four tires. That's probably your best bet. Um, and there's kind of varying degrees of consensus when it comes to which one should you put it on for an all wheel drive. Some states say the rear, some people say the front because as you go to brake, the momentum of your car shifts forward and therefore you have a lot of traction in the front. Um, honestly, if you want to play it safe and you have the all wheel drive, two pairs is going to do you, but I'll leave it up to you guys guys and your own state laws to make sure you're putting on the right one. But let's go ahead and see how we get it installed. To begin your installation, all you want to do is go ahead and lay out your chains just like so. What we're looking for, any kind of kinks or binds in it. A lot of times what ends up happening, these plastic rollers like to get caught in. All you gotta do really is walk them out. But once you're looking good, the other thing we're taking note of, how we have it set up. So we have our soft points of contact facing us. What I mean by that, well you guys can see this is our smooth side while we have these little pinch guys on the other. Now these guys could end up puncturing, tearing, wearing through your tire, and we definitely don't want that. And what we're doing here is simply slotting this around our wheel and enveloping our tire so we want that soft point actually making contact. So once that's looking good, we just go ahead and group these guys like so. I like to kind of get them close to the plastic. That makes it just a little bit easier to swing around your tire, especially if you guys are in that snow and that ice, it's gonna be easier to kind of grip it all. That way you're not pulling the whole ground with you. And what I like to do too, get this pulley kind of on the other side here, just like so. That's gonna make it easier to have your first connection. And same with your tensioner here on the other side. Just kind of walking him out. Looks like we got a little caught here as we were flipping it around, but that's okay. That's looking good, just like that. Alrighty, now we can bring our back connection here and on the other side. And once we have our two ends, we simply plug them and they'll play nice together, just like so. And then we just wanna fit our chain all the way around here. So it looks like I got a little caught up on here when it was moving around. That's not gonna be the end of the world though. We just need to simply 
unbind it here. So it's just a little caught. All I gotta do, pull it right out. No biggie. Sometimes they get caught like that and that's okay. And yeah, we're just fitting our chain here now nicely around our tire, making sure we have a good fit. We need to make our front connection first here though. And to do that, I simply take my two ends here and bring them together. So this guy's pretty close, but just like that, we have it nice and secure. Now we take our tensioner here at the bottom. We have our pulley system. We have a little lever we need to pull. Just simply push that back like that. Let that chain sit. Oh, let our chain sit. Just like so. You can, that le you can let that lever come down as well. Just like that. And now I can go ahead and actually start tensioning this. So I like to stand up, really give it a pull. Try to take out as much of that slack as you can, letting that latch go back in place. And then we're going to bring our tensioner through both of these red clips. Just like so. Just like so. And now we're going to the other side of our tire to give us that tension we're looking for. And just like that. We're nice and secure. The only thing to do here, make sure you're seated well around the entirety of your wheel. Looks like we're looking good. We're nice and tight. Therefore, we've got a good fit and we're nice and installed. Well, as you guys saw, that installation really doesn't take too much time. I like that I'm staying on the front of my tire and I'm not having to really scrounge back there. Just makes it really easy to get it installed without too much issue. You also do have this nice little traveling case. This becomes excellent to store them when you're not in use. I will say they have little eyelets in the back, so they're not 100% water containing. So do kind of keep that in mind. Honestly, way better than a lot of the canvas bags you see out there. Kind of keeps us from having to buy a tote, which is excellent. Really, really nice to go ahead, get your chains cleaned off, dry them out, throw them back in here. That way they're ready in the car. And you do have a little kneeling pad and gloves. I will say they're just a little bit of thin plastic. Now that goes a long way when you're on the side of the road sometimes. Um, always could just take out those floor mats as well. That's always a quick little trick to help you. That way you're not so cold. But I really do like that they just have a few little tools to help make us a little bit uh, safer and drier when we are actually putting it in. But overall, it's just a really nice chain. I love that I can go ahead and put it on the front. One thing I would say though, if you're not quite liking this tensioning system, you could look at the Koenig XG12 Pro. The reason for that, um, I think it works great. Now this rubber, maybe over years and years of use, you might have a little issue here. It's high quality. Koenig, always well known, like I said. They're not going to you know, give you anything that's poor quality. But if you're not quite happy with that tensioning system, again, look at that XG XG12. What's nice about it too, it self-tensions as it's on your vehicle. Make sure you have a nice tight fit, which is great. But otherwise, still an awesome little chain to make sure that we're getting that traction control that we need to make sure that we get to our destination safely. Otherwise, Otherwise, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Koenig XB16 snow tire chains here on our 2022 Buick Encore GX. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.